All right, let's talk about Roth IRA conversions and three mistakes that you might be making doing a Roth IRA conversion that could cost you thousands of retirement dollars. Hey, my name is Drew Blackston. I'm a certified retirement counselor, investment advisor representative, and I'm your virtual financial advisor helping you get to retirement, helping you get through retirement, and protecting your ability to stay in retirement. And the first mistake that you need to look for if you're doing a Roth IRA conversion is paying the taxes on that conversion out of your IRA. Now let me explain what an IRA to a Roth IRA conversion is first and then we'll talk through that first mistake. Basically an IRA to a Roth IRA conversion is moving money from your IRA to your Roth IRA whether that's a dollar or a million dollars. When you do that it becomes taxable income. Now, there's no penalty on moving money from your IRA to your Roth IRA. You only get penalized when you take money out of your IRA or your Roth IRA if you're under the age of 59 and a half. So you can do a Roth IRA conversion at 20 years old or at 90 years old. But the mistake that I see when clients do an IRA to a Roth IRA conversion is they use their IRA dollars to pay the taxes on the Roth IRA conversion. And I especially see this on young people, individuals who are under the age of 59 and a half. Let me give you an easy example. Let's say we have a 40 year old investor and he wants to do a $10,000 Roth IRA conversion. So he's going to move $10,000 from his IRA to his Roth IRA. He's in the 20% tax bracket. Okay? So 20% of $10,000 is $2,000 in taxes. Now, let's say this 40 year old says, I don't have an extra $2,000 in savings. What I'll do is I'll take the tax money out of my IRA. So if he does that, essentially, he's taken $12,000 out of his IRA. So now, instead of just being taxed on $10,000 coming out of his IRA to his Roth IRA, now he's taxed on $12,000, $10,000 of which went into his IRA for investments for his retirement, 2000 of which went to the IRS. He basically lost that money. So all that hard-earned IRA money that you've been contributing and investing and growing, you just took that off the table and sent it to the IRS. Well, he's also under the age of 40, or he's under the age of 59 and a half. He's 40 years old. So when he took this money out of his IRA, he had to pay a 10% penalty. So not only did he owe $2,000 in taxes on the $10,000, but he actually owed another $200 in a penalty plus his entire taxable income is not $10,000, it's $12,000. So it's $2,400 in taxes plus a $200 penalty. So what's that? $2,600 is his total tax burden. So instead of his total tax burden being $200 or $2,000, it's now $2,600, an extra $600 because he used his IRA to pay the taxes and he lost $2,600 forever because it went to the IRS. So when you're doing an IRA to a Roth IRA conversion, please make sure you have the cash on hand, whether in a bank account or in a taxable brokerage account that you can use to pay the taxes on your IRA to Roth IRA conversion, especially if you're under the age of 59 and a half. Do not use your IRA to pay your Roth IRA taxes. All right, the next mistake that I see when doing a IRA to Roth IRA conversion is you don't understand your tax bracket. And not understanding your tax bracket, whether before retirement or in retirement, 
could cost you thousands of retirement dollars, especially when you're doing an IRA to Roth IRA conversion. Now, what do I mean by that? Well, if you've been paying taxes long enough or listening to the news, you understand that our tax code is made of brackets. And depending on how much income you make, will determine the tax bracket that you fall into. Whether that's the 10% tax bracket, whether that's the 20, 22, or 38% tax bracket. And these tax codes are adjusted based on presidents and legislations, and they will change between now and the next 30 years. And you really want to understand what tax bracket you are in now before you do an IRA to Roth IRA conversion and you want to understand what tax bracket you will be in when you do the IRA to Roth IRA conversion. Let me give you an example. So same individual, we have a 40 year old and let's say he's in the 22% tax bracket and his income for the year is $80,000. That's how much an income he's going to make. So no bonuses. We're just going to say $80,000 is his salary. So that puts him in the 22% tax bracket. And let's assume this individual says, hey, I want to do a $10,000 IRA to Roth IRA conversion. So he does a $10,000 Roth IRA conversion. Well, that means he's going to have $90,000 in taxable income, right? 80 plus 10 is 90. So he's going to have $90,000 in taxable income. Well, at $80,000, he was in the 22% tax bracket. Now, let me pull out my calculator real quick. $80,000, multiply that by 22%. That's a $17,000 tax burden. Okay, so here, just use round numbers, a $17,000 tax burden. Well, now his $80,000, we've added in a $10,000 conversion, that gives him $90,000 in taxable income. You know what bracket that puts him in? That puts him in the 24% tax bracket. And you might say, hey, Drew, that's not a big deal. That's only 2%. Well, $90,000, 24%. That's 21K. 21 minus 17, that's an extra $4,000 in taxes. Remember I said that these mistakes could cost you thousands? This is what I'm talking about, not understanding your tax bracket. Now keep in mind, when you do your taxes, there's gonna be deductions, there's gonna be credits. We have a progressive tax code, so not all your income is gonna be taxed at the highest bracket but you really want to understand how much in this Roth IRA conversion am I going to pay in taxes and what bracket is that going to put me in? In this guy's scenario, $80,000 to $90,000, at $89,000, that's where the cutoff is for the 22% uh, bracket. So over $89,000 puts him in the 24% tax bracket. So if he would have understood that, instead of doing a $10,000 conversion, maybe he does a $9,000 conversion and he stays in the 22% bracket. Now, let's say he's already at $90,000 in salary. Well, now we've got from $89,000 all the way up to, I think it's $137,000. So you've got a lot more running room in that next bracket. You just want to understand where you are. Are. Now, I do this for all of my clients when we run a Your Financial EKG. It's our full service financial plan to make sure that you're going to get to retirement, you're going to get through retirement, and we're going to protect your ability to stay in retirement. We want to look at your taxes. How much in taxes are you going to pay now, and how much are you going to pay in retirement, and what's it going to do to you when you do those Roth IRA conversions? More details are in the description of this video. All right, the last mistake you could be making that could cost you thousands when moving IRA money to Roth IRA is not understanding 
IRMA taxes. Now, IRMA taxes only apply if you're over the age of 65. And what IRMA is designed to do is to charge you more on your Part B Medicare premium if your income reaches a certain level. So if you're over the age of 65 and you're on Medicare, you have a premium you pay for your Part B insurance. That's going to be your doctor visits and your blood work and things like that. Remember, Part A is your hospitalization. Part B is mainly your doctor visits. Well, your Part B premium right now in 2022 is $170.10. But if your income goes over a certain threshold, the IRS and Medicare says, we're going to charge you more for your Part B premium. And if you don't understand these brackets, you could be paying a lot of money for your Medicare that could cost you thousands. So let's look at this. If your income is between $91,000 and $114,000, your Part B premium goes to $238 per month. So from $170 to $238, what is that? That's like $68. That's a lot of money. From $114,000 to $142,000, your Part B premium goes to $340. That's double the $170. If your income in retirement is between $142,000 and $170,000, your Part B premium goes to $442. If it's between $170,000 and $500,000, your Part B premium goes to $544. And if your retirement income is above $500,000, your Part B premium will be $578. Now, normally this will last for 12 months until you file your next tax return, and then that will be readjusted by the Social Security Administration. But you need to understand what your Part B premium is going to be when you do a IRA to Roth IRA conversion. Many individuals and clients that I talk to want to wait until retirement to do their IRA to Roth IRA conversions because they believe that's going to put them in a lower tax bracket when doing that. But if they're over the age of 65, not only are you going to look at tax brackets, but you also need to understand your Part B premium costs. And we don't want that to go up any more than we want our taxes to go up. So understanding where you fall in your income tax bracket and in your IRMA tax bracket is so very important when doing an IRA to Roth IRA conversion. All right. Well, hey, thank you so much for watching the three Roth conversion mistakes that could cost you thousands. Thank you again. God bless. Bye-bye. Thank you.